Hi friends, here in this video we are going to see how to locate the various instantaneous centers. So let's get started. Now here is a mechanism which is given to us. As we can see, there is crank OA which rotates in a clockwise direction as given over here. And finally the motion is transferred to this slider D or the piston D which would be reciprocating in a horizontal plane. Then, in order to know the number of ICRs, first we should know how many links are there in a given mechanism. Fixed link, I am going to give the notation as link 1. This is the fixed link. Another fixed link is over here. So, 1. Then, the slider slides inside this fixed link or we can say the cylinder which is link 1. Next. The crank which is rotating crank OA would be link second. Then the crank OA is connected to this slider. That slider will be link 3 for us. And there is another link as we can see here AC which is connected to the slider and also link 2. So that is link 4. Then we have this link CD which is connected to the slider link 5 and the slider D would form link 6. So it is a 6 link mechanism. The next step would be to calculate the number of ICRs for such a mechanism. Since number of ICRs are given by the formula capital N is equal to small n into n minus 1 divided by 2 where small n indicates the number of links we can see it is a 6 link mechanism so we have 6 into 6 minus 1 divided by 2 so that gives me the answer as 15 it means there are 15 ICRs to be located for this given mechanism and what are those ICRs for that I would be drawing a table In the table, first give the number of links, then the number of ICRs and how to form the ICRs. For that, starting with link 1, form the combination of this link with all the forward links, that is with 1, 2, 1, 3. 1, 4, 1, 5 and 1, 6. Similarly with 2, then 3 with all the forward links. So these are the 15 ICRs which need to be located. Now out of them, first I would be locating all the fixed and permanent ICRs. As we can see link 1 and 2 are connected over here. So that gives me I12. Next 2 and 3 are connected at this point. So that gives me I23. I'll write it over here. This is I23. Then this slider is also sliding along this link we can see here which is link AC and the slider is not fixed so it's ICR I can say that it is sliding in a plane which is a parallel plane the slider is sliding in this manner so the ICR would be perpendicular to this direction which is the plane of motion here we can see the plane of motion is inclined so perpendicular to it perpendicular to that plane of motion would be the ICR for the slider and link 4. So that is I 3 4 and it will be at infinity because sliding motion is defined as a motion around a curve which is having an infinite radius. So that is I 3 4. Next 
here link 4 and 5 they are connected at this point C so that gives me I 4 5 5 and 6 that is the slider are connected over here so we have I 5 6 then here we have another slider which is D sliding along a horizontal plane so its ICR would be perpendicular to that plane of motion plane of motion is horizontal so ICR would be vertical so this vertical line indicates the ICR I16 which is again at infinity for the sliding motion of this slider D the same ICR would be transferred to the fixed link we can transfer it now these are the ICRs which have been located these are all fixed and permanent ICRs so starting with I12 I'll just go on circling them I12 next I23 then there is I34 4, 5 and 5, 6 then 1, 6 so the 6 ICRs have been located I'll just tally them there is another ICR as we can see here this link 4 is passing through this link 1 so we have another ICR which is I14 over here so that is also known to us so with that we have 7 ICRs now these are all the fixed and permanent ICRs whatever remains those are neither fixed nor permanent and how to locate them for that draw a light circle of any convenient radius the radius is not fixed it is a proportionate radius then according to the links and the number of ICRs we have found out starting with 1 link 1 connected to link 2 giving ICR I12 2. 2 is connected to 3 3 is connected to 4 4 and 5 5 and 6 then 1 and 6 1 and 4 now I need to get all the remaining ICRs starting with 1 3 connecting points 1 and 3 now there are two set of triangles 1 2 3 and 1 4 3 so joining 1 2 and 2 3 with the help of light line here there is 1 2 then 2 3 projecting them light next 1 4 and 3 4 here we have 1 4 now 3 4 is sliding so it can be shifted to this fixed link I am just drawing a parallel line of I34 transferred to the fixed link passing through I14 the sliding motion it can be transferred to the fixed links so that is again I34 at infinity now where it cuts this line which is passing through I12 and I23 will give us the ICR which is I13 the first neither fixed nor permanent ICR so when it is located I can just stick it over here then for I15 connecting 1 and 5 now when 1 and 5 are joined there are two set of triangles 165 and 145 so 16 and 56 here we already have this vertical line which is joining both 16 and 56 so ICR will lie over that and the other set of lines are 
वन फोर एंड फोर फाइव सो यर वी हैव वन फोर दिस इज फोर फाइव आई एल जस्ट प्लॉट इट सो दैट इट कट दिस लाइन विच इज पासिंग थ्रू वन सिक्स एंड फाइव सिक्स extending it light where it is cutting this vertical line that gives me i15 then 24 joining 2 and 4 there are two set of triangles 1 2 4 and 2 3 4 so 1 2 1 4 1 2 1 4 are already joined with the help of this light vertical line then 2 3 3 four here we have 2 3 and 3 four is passing through it so the extension of this line cuts the line passing through 1 2 uh, 1 2 and 1 4 over here and it gives me the icr which is i2 4 over here then for 2 5 connecting 2 and 5 there are two set of triangles that is 1 2 5 and 2 4 5 so 1 2 1 5 would give me one line 1 to 1 5 1 2 1 5 have been joined then the other set of lines 2 4 and 4 5 So here we have two four and this is four five. Now one two one five and two four four five where they meet gives me the ICR which is I two five. Then for two six joining two and six. Two set of triangles one two six and two five six. So one two one six we already have. Two five and five six needs to be connected. So two five just now we have got and five six with the help of light line connected. Now this light line is passing through this line which is already I one two and I one six. the intersection point will give me i26 which is over here i am just marking it with another color pen so this is the point and i'll just denote it over here that that is i26 over here then we have 35 Connecting three and five, two set of triangles that is two three five and three four five. So two three two five, two five, and we have two three with the help of light line. Two five two three, and then three four four five. now here we are having 4 5 over here so this 3 4 would be projected light and since the slider is not fixed over here we can transfer it up to 4 and 5 i 3 i at infinity so 4 5 3 4 4 and previously it was 2 5 2 3 now where it intersects here i am getting i35 then for 36 joining points 3 and 6 here we get two set of triangles that is 1613 and 2623 we can take any one of them suppose i am taking 2623 so 2 six is over here, and then there is 2 3. We have to be careful while marking. 
with the help of light line two six two three then three five five six we have three five here and then there is five six three five five six and two three two six it gives me the intersection point here which is i36 at last the icr46 which is i46 connecting 4 and 6 now also we can see where there are two set of different triangles like 3 6 4 and 2 6 4 we can take any one of them example i am taking 3 6 3 4 so 3 6 is already there with us 3 4 can be transferred 3 6 3 4 and another one is 5 6 and 4 5 now 3 6 3 4 would be projected in this way here I am having point 3 6 3 4 would be projected parallelly and since the slider is not fixed we can move it to any given location but in a parallel motion so again i 3 4 at infinity so i 3 6 and i 3 4 passing through this line and previously 5 6 and 4 5 5 6 and 4 5 is this line it means it will lie on this connecting rod over here this is 3 6 i 3 6 and i 3 4 then i 4 5 and i 5 6 that gives me i 4 6 that was the last icr so all the 15 icrs have been located considering all fixed permanent and neither fixed nor permanent icrs at the end if you'll find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.